What's up guys? I'm finally upgrading my charger to something with a little bit more power. I've been using this charger from Amazon for a while and I think it's about time to upgrade. This is the Ovonic X1 Dual 2-6S LiPo Charger. Alright, so let's do a quick unboxing of the Ovonic X1. Right on top, you got the manual, you got the charger right here. Nice. And then over here, we have a bag of charging wires. So in this bag of wires, we've got the power cable. This is the AC power cable. We got a USB cable for software updates. And then we also have EC3, EC5, and I think this is a Dean's connector. I think that's what this is called. I never use this, so I'm not too sure, uh, but I'm pretty sure that that's called the Dean's connector. Um, all of these go to XT60, and you have two of each of these because this is a dual charger. All right, so let's take a look at this charger. On the face of the charger, right on top, we've got this single 2.4 inch LCD screen, and under that, we have our navigation menu buttons. I'm very curious how this menu system is gonna work and compare to my C240. This is the charger that I've been using um, for quite a while. I think I've had this for like two years, and this actually has two screens. So you get this screen here for channel one, and this screen here for channel two. You also have two sets of menu navigation buttons, so each charger is kind of separate from each other. Whereas this one, you're gonna control all of the settings right through this single screen and using this set of buttons. So I'm curious how user-friendly this is gonna be. Looking on the front of the charger, we have the two charging ports. You have channel A and channel B. You have two XT60 connectors and then you have two balance plugs. These are capable of two to six S. Uh, I was reading online that I think you can do one S. I'm not too sure, uh, but this says two to six S. So I'm gonna say two to six S. And on the back side, we have some vents with a cooling fan behind it. On the bottom here, we have the AC in, which provides 200 watts of power. Um, this 200 watts is gonna split in half and you're gonna basically have 100 watts per channel if you're using the AC in. Above that, we have the DC input port and that provides 600 watts of power or 300 watts per channel. Channel. Each channel outputs 15 amps, so you can get some fast charging out of this thing. This doesn't output as much power as this one, so I'm excited to have something that offers 200 watts as opposed to 150, because basically per channel, this one has 75 watts per channel, this one's gonna have 100 watts per channel, so this is gonna be a little bit faster. All right, and finally, let's take a look at the sides. On this side, you have uh, ventilation over here. Above that, you have a five volt, two amp USB port, and this is what you're gonna use to update the charger when Ovonic comes up with any updates. And then over on this side, nothing over here, so you can put some stickers or, I don't know, whatever dude. And then underneath, you just have some specs on the charger. All right, let's plug this thing in. We'll take a look at the LCD, the menu system. I'm really curious how this is gonna work, and we'll test out charging some batteries. So off the bat, I know that this doesn't have a power button or a power switch. This one does. I do kind of like having this on off switch. I don't know, probably better off not having it because then you just unplug it and you don't have to worry about it. But when I plug this in, it should turn on. Nice. All right, so zoom in so you guys can see what's up. So on my dual charger currently, I do use a balance board like this. You don't need one of these with this charger. You can plug the battery directly in. So this is XT60, so this will plug directly into channel A or B, and then the balance plug will plug into the appropriate uh, balance plug. So I'm gonna plug this into channel A, and we should see some stats on the battery appear in channel A. That's... There we go. So this is a 4S uh, Ovonic LiPo. We have 15.2 volts. If you wanna see exactly what each cell is at, you can hit channel and that's gonna bring you to channel A and you can scroll through and you can see uh, using these menu buttons right here, you can see pretty much the status of the charger itself. So this is saying 26.77 volts AC. So that's the power coming in and then 15.7 volts, that's this battery. This is gonna tell you the temperature of the charger. So if we click up, we can see each individual cell and this is gonna display one through six. So this is capable of 6S. This is a 4S, so we're only gonna see 
cells one, two, three, and four. So we can see right here that each cell is at 3.7. Each cell is pretty evenly balanced. If I want to start charging this, I'm gonna hit enter. That's gonna bring up the settings. We can go up, we can select a couple different things through this menu. So this is the menu for channel A. This isn't gonna do anything with channel B. I'll show you guys how to set up uh, channel B once we get this one charging. So select task. You can choose charge, discharge, storage mode, balance. Um, I'm not really sure what the, ba what the difference is between balance and charge because both of them seem to be a balance charge option. Um, exterior, discharge, and then digital power. So for this battery, I'm just gonna select charge. I'm gonna go down battery type. With this charger, you can charge an LIHV. So that's basically a LiPo that's capable of holding a little bit more juice. I have a couple LIHV batteries that I do use on my Cineops, uh, but this battery that's connected is just a regular LiPo. So you have LIHV, you got LiPo, you have lithium ion, LIFE, and nickel metal hydride. So this is a LiPo, I'm gonna select LiPo. Scroll down, you can change the voltage. I would just keep this at 4.2. If it's an LIHV, it should, actually, let's see. If I change this, to an LIHV, it'll change that to 4.35. So only, only use LIHV if it's an LIHV. If it's not an LIHV, don't overcharge your battery. So that's gonna set the cells to 4.2 volts per cell. Cell count, it automatically detects the cell count when you plug in the balance plug. Um, target current, 15 amps. I don't need 15 amps going into a 1300 battery. So since this battery is a 1300 milliamp, I'm gonna charge this at 1.3 amps. So we'll select that, and then we hit start task. So now this battery is charging, and you can see its individual status over here. If we hit channel or back, it's gonna bring us now to channel B. So this is where we can select the settings for channel B. Now what I'm gonna do with channel B is I'm actually gonna plug in my balance board. This is the balance board that I use with my other charger, and this is mainly so that I can charge multiple uh, XT30 or XT60 batteries all at once. So the way this works, you need all of your batteries uh, to be the exact same. I have two Ovonic 550 6S batteries, so we're gonna be charging these at the same time as this. To do this, make sure that each battery is the exact same and that they are at the same cell voltage. I have an XT60 pigtail here. I'm gonna plug this in, right like this. This end is gonna plug into my balance board I'm gonna move this back a little bit. And then I have this balance plug right here. So if you don't have, you don't need this again, obviously I'm charging this one directly into the charger, but you can plug in a balance board like this and it works just as good. This is just a little bit faster. So once that's plugged in, I'm gonna plug these in. And again, if you're charging multiple batteries like this, make sure that they're all at the same voltage. So all of these these two batteries are actually fully charged. They're both at 25, so they are fully charged. Um, but I'm gonna plug these in just to show you how you can get these charging. So I'm gonna plug in the XT30, and then this is gonna plug into the balance plug down the bottom. So do that. So both of these batteries are plugged in. And now if we go through the menu, we can do the same thing that we did pretty much for uh, channel A. So we're gonna hit enter slash setting. We're gonna go to the top. We want that on charge. These are LiPos. Make sure it's at 4.2 volts. It recognizes that these batteries are 6S. This one is still charging at 4S. And then target current, since I'm charging two batteries, 550 plus 550 is 1100. So I'm gonna charge these at 1.1 amps. I'm gonna select this, go down to 1.1, and then start task. And now we have channel B charging at the same time as channel A. And you can scroll down and see a couple additional settings. So now we'll, hit channel back, and now each battery should be charging. To stop the batteries, you can click and hold, and that's gonna stop both of them. If you want to stop one individually, you can navigate to each channel and then click and hold, and it'll stop charging that channel. So I'm gonna unplug these batteries and then we'll go over the charger settings. To get to the charger settings, all you're gonna do is click and hold, and then it's gonna bring you to the charger settings. So this is system parameters. To enter a setting, you just hit enter, and then you can scroll down, you can change the language, the maximum input power, minimum input power, the backlight, so this is pretty much just the uh, brightness of the screen. I don't know why you would ever have it that low. I can't even really see what the hell I'm doing. The volume, it's actually not too loud, but you can change that. 
That doesn't sound like it adjusted the volume at all. All right, so I don't think that adjusts the volume at all. It kind of just adjusts the pitch. So actually I'm gonna turn that off. Complete voice, this is when your batteries are done charging. This is gonna go off, so you can have it on repeat until you tell it that you're there and you disconnect it and everything. Or you can just have it go off once and it just tells you the batteries are done and that's that. I'm gonna set one time and then factory reset to just go back to normal settings. Hit back. Now we have task parameters. This is a safety timer, capacity limit. Underneath that, we have channel A calibration and channel B calibration. These you have to do when a battery is plugged into it. And now we have system self-checking. I think this just kind of does its thing and makes sure, it's, makes sure that it's running right. Self-checking normal, system info, and this will tell you what uh, software version you're running, the serial number, that kind of stuff. And then back. So pretty straightforward little charger. This thing already is a lot quieter than my other charger. This one, the fan on it is pretty loud. And uh, I have had this for like two years, so I think it's about time for an upgrade. I really like the fact that this charger has XT60 ports directly on the charger. My old charger had these banana plugs, so instead of plugging batteries directly into it, I actually had to use um, two wires coming off of this and then balance boards. So less wires, a lot cleaner. All right, so there it is. That's the Ovonic X1 dual charger. Overall, I really like this thing. I like that it's capable of up to 6S. I use 6S batteries on my freestyle drones, my long range drones, and even my Cinewhoops. I have a little Cinewhoop here I'm gonna give you guys a teaser of right now. I'm gonna have a video hopefully coming out soon on this, but this is a custom built 2.5 inch QAV Pro Cinewhoop, and this utilizes 6S batteries, and this Ovonic this is a 550 milliamp 6S Ovonic LiPo, and this is kind of my go-to battery for this thing. It's the perfect size for it. This drone is a lot of fun. I'm going to have a video coming out on this hopefully soon, and uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that. But as far as this charger goes, overall, I am a fan. It's quieter than my old charger. It has more power. It's faster. The LCD screen is a whole lot nicer looking. Plus, I'm just a fan of Volvonic in general, and I trust their products. I think the only complaint that I would have is that I wish that it had a power switch on the back like this one. I think that's mainly just because I'm used to having a power switch on it, but either way, this is gonna become my go-to charger. Big shout out to Ovonic for sending me this thing to review. I've been wanting a faster dual 6S charger for quite a while, and I'm pumped to finally have one from a brand I trust. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like, and if you have any questions about the X1 charger, leave a comment down below.